it's Emma and I'm so excited this week to be talking to you all about prayer. Prayer is the way that we talk to God and we talked a lot at camp about how Jesus doesn't just want to be one of our many friends, he wants to be our very best friend. And just like with any of our best friends, we need to spend time talking with them and sharing with them. And so prayer is the way that we can do that best. And so today I'm going to be sharing with you a really easy and simple way to talk to Jesus, um, something you can do every day. And this was actually created by a man that hopefully you all know, whose name is Pope Francis. And he created what's called the Five Finger Prayer. And I'm going to be sharing with you how to do it today. So let's begin. Let's start on our first finger, which is the thumb. And the thumb is the finger closest to us. So on this finger, we're reminded to pray for the people closest to us. Some of those people can be our parents, our family, our siblings, our grandparents, our friends, our classmates, the people who love us the most. And so when we pray on our thumb finger, we're reminded to pray for those closest to us. Next, we have what's called our index or our pointer finger. And an easy way to remember who to pray for on this finger is the people who point us in the right direction. And that's heaven, right? Um, God wants us all to be in heaven with him. And he puts people in our life to help us get there. And so some of these people can be teachers, um, the sisters, our priests, um, your leaders at camp or babysitters, again, your parents. These are all people who God puts in our life to remind us of um, who we're meant to be and to remind us to be the best versions of ourself. And so on our pointer finger, we pray for those people that teach us and point us all the way up to heaven. Next, we have our middle finger. And this is our tallest finger on our hand. So on this finger, we're reminded to pray for people that make big decisions in our world. Um, some of these people could be our government. These people can be our police officers, our firefighters, frontline workers, um, people who work in hospitals, people in our own communities, like our principals at our school or our mayor. These are people who make big decisions that affect a lot of people. And so they need prayers for guidance and for strength and for courage. So again, on the middle finger, we pray for people our world leaders who make big decisions. Next, we have our ring finger. And what you may not know is that this is the weakest finger on our hand. And so this finger reminds us to pray for people who are weak and who are in need. These people maybe are people who are sick, um, people that don't have food or water or shelter like we do, um, people who are elderly and living in nursing homes, um, those who are living in poverty. These people need our prayers and it's very important that we always remember them. So again, on the ring finger, we pray for people who are weak and people who are in need. And finally, we have our pinky baby finger. And when we pray on our pinky finger, we pray for ourselves. And this isn't to say that your needs um, aren't important or that God doesn't want to hear from you. Actually, it's the opposite. Um, when we pray for all these other people first, it helps puts our, put our own needs into perspective. And so what are some ways we can pray for ourselves? Well, for example, let's say you have a big test tomorrow. Instead of praying that you do well on the test or that your teacher gives you a good mark, instead you can pray to God for wisdom. You can pray to him for strength to get through and to not be nervous. And so again, on our pinky finger, we pray for ourselves and for our own need. And that's the five finger prayer. Again, Jesus doesn't just want to be someone that you talk to when you need something or someone that you talk to just at mass on Sundays for an hour. He wants to hear from you each and every day. And so praying the five finger prayer is a really easy way to remember how to pray and to talk to him every day. He wants to hear what you have to say because he loves you and he created you. I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed this and I'll be praying for you always. Bye.